Car selector is an application which allows you to select a car and choose a color for that selected car. This project was built using the game engine Unity and the coding language C Sharp. Assets from the App Store were used for the visual representation. I started out with a simple document describing what the project is about. I drew a basic UML document illustrating the basic structure of the classes and the components to be used. In Unity, I built the scripts, assets and prefabs needed and linked the relevant scripts to the prefabs. I wrote the scripts in a way that allowed the visual components to be customised in Unity using the inspector. The car view display. This is responsible for holding and viewing the available cars. The colour picker display. This is responsible for holding all the available colours and their costs, which can be applied to the current selected car. The info display. This is responsible for viewing the current selected car's information, which include the car's brand name, the colour of the car, the cost to paint the car that chosen colour, and the total cost for the customised car. There is also a UI component, which is responsible for handling the buttons responsible for cycling through the selection of cars available via a previous and next button. Scripts used. Camera Lookat.cs This class is responsible for moving the main camera to the current selected car position. It is achieved by passing the current chosen car's transformation via the function's initialized position and the start target position. The camera's position is updated constantly using the available function update. Car.cs This class is responsible for the storage and management of the car's data. This includes data such as the car's brand name, cash value, default color, and the total cash value. It also stores the reference to the floating text field, which displays the car's cash value minus the cost of the customized color. CarViewerDisplay.cs This class is responsible for the management of the cars. It enables the user to view the previous and next car in line. It has access to the current car's position, sets the current car's data such as the color of the car, the color name, and the cash value. It also stores a list of all the available cars. ColorButton.cs This class holds the color and cash value for each button in the color picker display. It also sets up the cost and displays it in the text field on the button. ColorPickerDisplay.cs this class handles the on-click event for each of the color buttons in the color picker display within Unity. This function will set the color, update the color price and color name of the current car data. ConfigData.cs This class contains static values which are accessible globally. It contains a reference to the currency symbol used throughout the app. InfoDisplay.cs This class is responsible for displaying the current selected car's details, such as the brand name, car color, color price, and car price. ObjectData.cs This is a data object which is used to create the car's data storage. It stores the brand name, color, color name, color price, and value of the car. It also has the ability to print out this data to the console. ObjectDataReader.cs This is responsible for reading in the JSON file. The JSON file contains a list of cars and their cost. UIManager.cs This class is responsible for choosing a car from a list of cars. This is done by the functions go to next car and go to previous car. When the car is selected, the info display is then updated, followed by the camera, with the selected car as the new target. This is the end of the walkthrough. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.